A1 broth from high media used for testing fecal coliform bacteria. This media is recommended by APHC. To prepare 1 liter of medium, 31.5 grams of powder as given on bottle should be added into 1 liter of distilled water and it should be dissolved completely. Prepare 500 ml to 1 liter of 0.9% normal saline. Distribute 9 ml or a little more into each tube. Care should be taken that a minimum of 9 ml plus or minus 0.2 ml remain in each tube after autoclaving, which is required for serial dilution. After media preparation, dispense 10 ml of media into each tube. Now insert a Durham tube in inverted portion into each tube and the Durham tube should be completely filled with medium leaving no air spaces. Now close the caps and keep aside for autoclaving. Place all the tubes containing normal saline and the tubes containing A1 media along with tips inside autoclave. Now sterilize them by autoclaving at 121 degrees centigrade which corresponds to 15 psi for 15 minutes. After sterilization of reagents and glassware, depending on sample to be tested, take required number of tubes with sterile normal saline and place them serially in a test tube rack. Label them as 10 power minus 1, 10 power minus 2, 10 power minus 3 and so on, indicating the dilution factor. Now take required number of tubes with sterile media and arrange them in rows of 3 each in a test tube rack. Label each tube with sample number and dilution factor like 3 tubes in first row with 10 power 0, 3 tubes in second row with 10 power minus 1 and so on. Now keep these two test tube racks with properly labeled the sterile tubes inside the biosafety cabinet. Wipe the autopipettes to be used with 70% isopropanol. Keep the autopipette tips and tip boxes inside the biosafety cabinet and switch on UV for 20 minutes for surface sterilization. After UV sterilization, take the sample to be tested into biosafety cabinet. Shake the sample thoroughly for at least 25 times for proper mixing of the sample. If direct sample is used for inoculation, Take about 10 ml of thoroughly mixed sample into a sterile empty test tube. Take 1 ml of sample from the sample bottle and add into the tube with 9 ml of sterile normal saline. So this is 10 power minus 1 dilution which contains 0.1 gram or 0.1 ml of the original sample. Now properly mix this diluted sample by vortexing with a new tip take 1 ml from this tube and add into 9 ml of sterile normal saline tube. This is 10 power minus 2 dilution. Continue the serial dilution procedure up to 10 power minus 5 or more depending on the sample type. 
Separate tips should be used for each step of sterile dilution to avoid carryover of sample to higher dilutions. Mix the sample by vortexing and add 1 ml into each of the three tubes in a row with sterile medium. and gently shake it. Continue inoculation for rest of the dilutions by adding properly mixed 1 ml of sample from each dilution through each of the three tubes in a row. Care should be taken that no air enters inside the Durham tube while shaking. Incubate the inoculated tubes with the even broth at 35 degrees centigrade for 3 hours. This is the initial enrichment step. After 3 hours of incubation at 35 degrees centigrade, now incubate the tubes at 44.5 degrees centigrade for an additional 21 hours. After incubation, remove the tubes from incubator, check each tube for the presence of turbidity and gas production inside the Durham tube. If only turbidity is observed and gas production is not observed inside the Durham tube, shake the tubes gently and observe for rising gas bubbles. Turbidity with gas production is considered as positive result for the presence of fecal coliform bacteria.